as part of verification, let's check that the reactions balance the applied load, that is the structure is in equilibrium. Before I get into ANSYS, I want to indicate how ANSYS calculates a reaction. If I go back to um, this slide on potential energy minimization, okay, um, the work due to external forces is given by this term. And this is nothing but Uy3. So it's Puy3. And when you derive the algebraic equation from, you know, this uh, minimizing the potential energy with respect to Uy3, okay, when you differentiate that with respect to Uy3, you will get P. So the algebraic equation will relate uh, this degree of free, these four degrees of freedom to P, and it'll be a linear relationship. Correspondingly, okay, here you have a reaction, right? Because of the you're fixing the um, the beam over there, so you have a reaction. And by analogy, when you take the derivative of the potential energy with respect to u y one. Okay, that has to be zero. And that's true because if I perturb u y one by a little bit, the potential energy has to increase. Okay. Now this relationship, you know, if you derive it, what you will get is uh, a relationship between R and these degrees of freedom. Okay? So you can you should think of it as analogy, and this is this is very similar to what I talked about in the big ideas in finite element analysis. So in the first step, you determine these two degrees of freedom from the, um, the displacement from the you know, essential boundary conditions. Then you determine these degrees of freedom by inverting an algebraic equation. And then in the third step, you, de uh, you derive the reactions from these, um, these degrees of freedom that are now known. So let's get answers to do that. If I go to ANSYS and select solution and probe force reaction, okay, um, everywhere I have you know displacement constraints or rotation constraints, I can I'll get a reaction. So here I have it only at the fixed support. Ignore weak springs um, and then let me evaluate that. Okay, and if I scroll down here, that's 8,000 uh, newtons in the global coordinate system, okay? And that uh, balances the, the 8,000 newtons load that we applied down. Similarly, you can check the, the moment reaction. Everything I said about the moment reaction also apply, uh, about the first reaction also applies to the moment reaction, uh, except that now, you know, the the moment reaction is calculated from an equation where you, you're minimizing the potential energy with respect to the rotational degrees of freedom. Okay, so this, import, this is an important verification check and it uh, passes.